Hi and welcome to my soul tribe. My name is Miriam Rose. This channel is dedicated to spirituality, makeup and commentary. I upload two to three times per week. So please like, subscribe, ring the bell below and make sure it's set on all so that you get the latest notifications and uh, comment and share my videos and please subscribe to my Instagram for regular updates. Also, I just want to let you know that YouTube has been unsubscribing people, so please check that you are subscribed to my channel. And also, it would be lovely if you interacted by leaving a comment. Today we're talking about Trisha Paytas quitting Frenemies podcast. It makes you wonder if Frenemies podcast with Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas is just all for the views alone. It's a toxic podcast where Ethan is passive aggressive and Trisha is a dynamite waiting to explode. Ethan's title of the video was called Trisha quits the podcast and storms out Frenemies number 13. It's got over 1.4 million views, 64,000 likes and 37,000 dislikes. So they start off the podcast by talking about pizza. Now Trisha talks about having an eating disorder because she cried the other day because she ate only one chicken nugget to impress Ethan by showing him that she doesn't eat a lot and because she was being skinny Trisha that day. Ethan says, but it's not healthy if you want to eat three layers of pizza one day and one chicken nugget the next. So Ethan goes into saying, let's order the pizza. It's called a pizza threat from Pizza Hut. It will get here by the end of the podcast. We will put makeup on our faces and then destroy our bodies with the triple threat pizzas. So the podcast starts off friendly and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. So they send Moses, who is Trisha's boyfriend and um, is Ethan's brother-in-law to pick up the pizza. So out of the 50 minute video, they spent the first 10 minutes deciding what pizzas they want to order. And Trisha is placing the order. Trisha then goes into telling Ethan that Moses and her had a fight on the way to the podcast which is, by the way, filmed at Ethan's and Ella's home. Ella is Ethan's wife and Moses' sister. Trisha is really grateful to Moses for driving to pick up the pizzas and she says that Moses does much more for her than she does for him. She says that um, he is really genuine and Ethan is being a little passive aggressive, asking if she will return the favor at night time to Moses. Trisha states by saying they don't use making love as a bargaining tool, which is really good for Trisha because she's standing up for herself. So they continue the podcast with beauty routines based on famous celebrities. Then Trisha starts talking about Ethan controlling her pay and telling her what she can and cannot talk about on the podcast. And Ethan quickly changes the subject. At 30 minutes into the video, that's where the real action and drama begins. Trisha says, can we have Ela on the podcast? Ethan flat out says no. Trisha says, but we need to discuss this further because people think that I don't like Ela, but I actually really like her. Ethan says, don't talk about Ela. We are cutting this part out. Mind you, they don't edit out 
anything at all. Trisha's response is, are you serious? What are you talking about? Ethan then says, Ella doesn't like to be talked about. And she doesn't like how you always bring her up in conversations. She finds it annoying because she doesn't want people to think that she doesn't like you. Trisha says, well, she doesn't. Ethan again says, we will edit this part out and leaves it in the podcast again. <laughs> Trisha turns around and says, well, in that case, I'm going to stop talking about my personal life too. Trisha continues by saying H3 podcast is boring without her. She continues by saying you are an inauthentic presenter because you cut out everything that's personal. Trisha confronts Ethan by saying Ella should at least text me and tell me she doesn't hate me. Ethan responds by saying, look, it's between Ella and Moses. She wants to know why their mother is not being invited to your wedding. Why Moses has all of a sudden moved away from the family and so forth. It's really got nothing to do with you, Trisha. Ethan says, I just want to leave them to sort it out by themselves. Trisha looks like she's about to blow her lid and says things like, You guys talked about Moses and I on your podcast. You constantly make fun of us and our relationship. You're being inauthentic on your podcast because you keep cutting out all the personal stuff. Trisha goes out to continue to say that they are fake. They're all being fake on H3H3 podcast because they can't talk about Ela. But they talk about Trisha and Moses all the time. At 34 minutes into the podcast, although Ethan is being fairly calm, Trisha starts getting louder and louder. Ethan says that Trisha says that when she comes over to do the podcast, Ela never greets her. Trisha responds by saying, that's all BS. You are the one who never greets me, not Ela, she tells Ethan. So Trisha says, you're getting all the views because of me. But Ela is too good to be talked about. She is the queen on the throne. Ethan says, so you are talking about and telling that renaissance for this podcast is you. And Trisha says, for sure. Your channel was tanking and now you're gaining subscribers. Yes, I bring new audience to this channel. Trisha blows up steam and says Ela is a public figure. She can be talked about. And anyway, I don't feel welcomed here. I'm never coming here again. And Moses doesn't like his family and Ethan says, when you get between their family, meaning Ela's and Moses' family, Ela gets really upset. He continues by saying, saying that Moses doesn't like his family is not right. Trisha goes into this tantrum, saying, you guys constantly talked about us on your show, making fun of us. And Ethan interjects by saying, that they stopped doing it when Moses texted them and asked them to stop. Ethan, although he's being passive-aggressive, is talking in a logical manner, whereas Trisha is clearly triggered. This whole conversation is a real cringe show at this point. Well, for the sake of this video, I continued to watch it. Now Trisha says, I don't want to come back here. I don't feel comfortable at your house. And Ethan says, we have pizza on the way. I am excited for the pizza, so let's get past this. Now the conversation turns to having a nanny. Trisha says, I would never have a nanny. 
Ethan responds by saying, but we are both working, Ela, meaning Ela and him, and we need a nanny for our one and a half year old child. He then says, what about daycare? Trisha says daycare is different. Bad parents. Ethan says, why are you attacking our parenting skills? Do you think that we're bad parents? Trisha continues by saying that she she isn't attacking, she is just stating her opinion. She can't have kids and if she could, she would spend all her time with them. So now Ethan is fueled and he continues to fuel the fire and they're getting stuck into it, going back and forth. Now Ethan is defending the fact that they use a nanny for their son. And Trisha tells him that he is being insensitive because he knows that she is infertile and can never have kids and yet he continues to ask for her opinion of how she would raise her children had she had some. She also did state that she would never use a nanny because she would ask for her family to care for, for her children and says that Ethan and Ela should do the same. Ethan doesn't agree with her and he tells her that. Then Ethan changes the conversation by saying, pizza is here and casually adds, so what triggered you, Trish? And Trisha just goes into this entire rant, how Ela doesn't want to be talked about and so on and so forth and Ela is being a queen and nobody can talk about the queen and she got really really angry now Moses brings in the pizza and Trisha says I'm never coming here again Moses doesn't have a clue as to what's going on so now they're updating Moses on the argument Trisha breaks down and says that Ela is such a queen and a bee that she doesn't want to be talked about. She's just too good for it. Now Trisha continues to swear at Ethan as well. Here is where she says, you are such and such and so and so. And Ethan replies by saying, all right, you should leave. We will talk later. Trisha storms out yelling and swearing. Ethan sums it up by saying that Ela gets upset that Trisha says in passing that Moses doesn't like his family and that their mother won't be invited to Trisha and Moses wedding and he said that Trisha and Ela need to sit down and work it out together and that Ela in fact does like Trisha and so does he. Ethan did say that he felt bad that Trisha left on bad terms and he will try to fix the situation because he has never seen her in such a state before. And that's the way he closes his podcast. Then Trisha comes out with two renting videos within a hour, six hour period, one after the other. Summing it all up, saying that she only has three friends, Shane, Angel and Jeffrey, and that she can't have friends, and, and that Moses is free to leave and uh, break up the relationship because she doesn't want to stand between him and his family, and that she loses her temper and can't control herself, and that's why she can't have friends she has no control over her emotions and she even stated that dr drew who was on h3 h3 podcast told her that she probably has paranoid schizophrenia and she's really afraid of it because now apparently trisha hears voices i'm just wondering what mental illness trisha doesn't suffer from by this stage. Let's just see if she returns back to Frenemies podcast next week, whether this was all part of the show or whether this was all real. 
By the way that Trisha was carrying on and yelling and screaming and shouting, losing her temper, it seemed rather real. So now, please comment below and tell me what you think about this situation. Thank you for watching. Cosmic kisses to everyone. Happy holidays. Bye for now.